organizations that have teams representing uh, almost every major game that's out there. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, you know, I come from the League of Legends background. I know you come from uh, StarCraft, so there's definitely Fnatic for StarCraft, but uh, League of Legends, this would be like a championship game. I know, I was it about is to say. Mania too. Yeah, I mean, uh, these guys could very well match up against each other in the end once again. So, Strengths throwing off his entrance song as he makes his way up. This is a very long map. You have a lot yeah. of ground to, uh, to progress over as you make your way up, and it looks like Curse is actually going to play pretty far back. Yeah, and uh, this map actually earlier, we saw Daybreak, ooh, oh, 40 meter hit, uh, being played Fnatic versus, um, I, I guess it was, uh, what team was it? Oh, Random Assembly. Yes. Um, a random assortment, and they uh, it was actually a really close back and forth map. The interesting thing is going to be that Fnatic dominated on Castle Crashers, which was their pick for map two. So if uh, Curse is able to win this and it goes to a third map, that could be tough. Yeah, but Strengths is saying, no way, not right now, and he looks great. So the, uh, the goal can actually be captured. Tailspin doesn't quite have enough, and Strengths lands his first attack round right away with a capture. Yeah, really nice play. Now we have Buds coming up. He's going to be moving right down the center of this map. Uh, we'll see what he can do, but that you know, Strengths is just such a solid player. He's been solid all day. Uh, really, all three of the members for Fnatic are just, you know, beautiful to uh, watch, like as far as their play. They're really uh, great players. Um, so we'll see what they can do here. Uh, Curse making his way up. He does avoid some of those rockets. Is he, he actually going to rush him down? No, okay. So just trying to see if he can pick the guy off at the cap point. I can't believe he avoided all of those. He was looking directly yeah. at the defender spawn. It was just like moving back and forth, somehow telepathically avoiding rockets that were coming from the side. It's a bullet hell game, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. It, sometimes it does actually feel like that. Um, only a few seconds left, though, until the goal becomes capturable, and Bud's is not in a great spot. Yeah, he's taking one. There's the third one, so he does go down. Uh, really nice job, and then Strengths, you know, diving out at the end for that capture point. Lux is coming on the attack, so we'll see if he can make it. It's 2-0 right now. They have a nice advantage already, so they can play pretty conservatively here, but uh, he will pick up some speed as he's dancing. He's, he's grooving. That's, uh, that's kind of what he does uh, yeah. from, from what I see so they far. Flair. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, quite a bit of flair there. Need at least uh, six pieces of flair 30, there. 37 pieces uh, of flair. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, right. so Lux is going to make his way up, and uh, wasn't able oh, to Oh, wow, quite, that's like, aggressive. Yeah, it was aggressive, but he missed the shot uh, and opened himself up to uh, quite a bit of rocket spam, thankfully avoiding most of it and then coming right back around uh, with a great shot on Buds. That's one of my favorite shots is when they jump up over the wall. Nine-meter shot coming down, so really great hits by Lux's tailspin oh as well. 17 God. meters, so that's two attacking rounds for Fnatic. That is brutal. 3-0 advantage, but... Uh, that's one of my favorite shots is when you're coming over the guy, uh, the fence on the right side of this map, uh, just walking up to the wall. They don't exactly know your positioning. And then just the quick, you know, jump exposure because you're leaving yourself vulnerable to rockets. So it's a very kind of risky shot. Right. But you, at the same time, if you get up there, um, you actually have the vision advantage first. 27 meter shot over the right side, though. Tailspin with a really aggressive route, and they weren't expecting it at all. No, I mean, the back was completely turned to Tailspin. Uh, he kept looking around the side, trying to see if anyone was there. It was funny, though, after that attack round, I saw Luxa throw his hands up in the air and yell a little bit, so he was very happy with his laser there. But Tailspin's Three answering. Armor. This is rough. Uh, two really great shots from Tailspin. Now he's coming in. They need to get this attacking round. He's in a great opportunity. Uh, so he can rush the cap point down once it's available. It's going to be very difficult for Luxus to defend this. And he's doing a good job of it so far. Three shots in a row. Luxus grabs it. What a great defensive round. Wow. So going from an amazing wow. attack round to an amazing defensive round. That was absolutely absurd for Luxus to be able to hit that. And not only he... He hit the first two rockets, but then his third rocket, he actually, or I guess maybe it was his second rocket, he aimed to knock him off the capture point. So he recognized that he wasn't going to have enough time to get the three quick rockets uh, before the point was captured, and he knocked him backwards off the point in order to rush him down in the corner. Two shots on the EP. He's almost going to take a third, but he will be able to back off, but this uh, sh round should potentially go to curse. Oh, yeah. he does go down. Ugh. Well, after four very convincing rounds, EP is a disappointment to uh, Fnatic fans <laughs> everywhere as they can't quite continue their uh, their unrivaled streak of dominance there. XB3 now going to be on the attack. They finally have a defensive round on the board, but they need to get some attack rounds and they need to get them quick. That just made me think of like one of the teams, they uh, or one of the players they put as their horn, you have dishonored your family or something <laughs> like that. It's after an uh, a, a unsuccessful attacking round. XB3, he actually picks him up 40 meters on the laser pad. So people haven't been sitting by the laser pad so far, but XB3 with a great shot, jumping up over the wall, trying to grab the fence guy, and now he's actually going for the capture point, hopping around, oh, barely missing 
misses the jump, but can come uh, can come back on the backside. And that last shot was the uh, XP3 laser that we're used to seeing. I mean, that's uh, when this guy's laser is on, he is absolutely one of the best in oh, North America. Wow, and he grabs a, a second shot. one. And then bouncing off the wall, I didn't even realize that he could come up that path. And he's in a great opportunity, but oh, oh quick he gets it. shot. <laughs> I can't believe that. I thought yeah. he was going to go down. Because especially the way he was getting knocked off the edge, he was going to fall in a predictable path. Yeah. And the defender, uh, it was a really easy shot for them to be able to make the third one. But he picks him off that just was, before the it end. It was like the Matrix, and he's like jumping out of the building and then shooting behind him. And you got the, <laughs> the slow-mo scene. Uh, that was insane. Like the, the route that he took when he had fallen down to hop back up, he jumps off the wall, uh, gets the shot, and then jumps jumps off the other wall in order to get himself up there was really uh, awesome to watch. Oh, yeah. So now Strengths is uh, trades one for one there. Uh, not a great feeling on both sides, but uh, Strengths just needs uh, two more shots in oh. order to take the round. Grabs one of them right away. Tailspin. Wow! Off to the side, but gets devastated. Another attack round landed. Strengths is just absolutely absurd. Three for three on his lasers there, and he's two for two on his attack rounds so far. Uh, he's just, you know, crushing for Fnatic. So uh, that is absurd. We'll see what Buds can do. He hasn't had a lot of his, uh, success on the attacking round so far, but um, we'll see if he can make anything happen. He is sweeping around the right side, maybe. Uh, actually, uh, coming back to the regular path, seeing if he can get anything. Buds has a very strong laser, but thus far, um, Fnatic has truly outclassed Curse so far, yep. both on attack and defense. They've been spot on with their laser. Their rockets and positioning have been just great. Butts grabs a nice shot, though, I have to say. Uh, right around the edge there as EP gets picked off again. Oh, he gets another one. 23 meters coming in. Three armor to one. So Buds, he's in a great position. It's versus Strength. He does watch him as he's coming out. He's able to dodge the rocket. Uh, so we'll see if Strengths can defend this. But this would be absurd. 16 meter shot. So Buds picking up another one. They absolutely needed that. And so through eight rounds so far, we've actually had five successful attack rounds. So uh, despite what I said before, you know, Curse is still making a good round of this. They're playing well. The uh, the yeah. laser was clearly on right there, but uh, Fnatic's just on another level. They're going to have Curse is going to have to string together some big victories here if they want to be able to take this map back. Oh, and particularly once it comes around to strengths again, uh, they have to figure out a way to stop him. But Lux is uh, making his way over to the left side. I don't think anyone's on the laser pad, so yeah, he he will be uh, safe to leave his back to it. Yeah, you do see uh, someone over by the spawn point. Uh, Buds is able to get a hit on him, I think, so uh, he will back off for a second. All right, well, Luxus uh, picks wow, off a defender sitting around there. the side. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Bud's uh, trying to catch around the back side of him, but he's actually running down XP3 here. Okay, well, XP3 uh, looks like he's in a pretty decent spot to be able to peek around this corner. He gets himself exposed, though, uh, kind of caught out in no man's land, can't get his way back up, so it's a showdown situation one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to take this? Oh, it's going to be very close. He's going to turn the corner and try and get this. All right, well, Luxus needs to come around from the side. Oh. No, he gets picked off. Tailspin just catching an arm, a foot. I don't know what it was that was around the fence. But uh, again, Curse now actually down by just one round. If yeah. Tailspin takes this attack, we're all tied up. Yeah, so this is a nice opportunity for them. Uh, Tailspin gonna be making his way to the right side. Uh, see if he gets anything tricky again. Uh, he is actually coming around the side. We saw the last time this happened, they actually weren't ready for it. But no, he's going to swap back over and then uh, try and take the normal path. That was really clever because he wanted to make it, he wanted to fame that direction. You saw spam rockets were headed out there, so they anticipated that this could happen. Oh, great and, shot. And the whole idea was to catch Yippee on the left side of that fence, run back around at the last second and catch Yippee. Couldn't do it there, but lands a great shot on him around the side. And we're seeing a lot of the defenders on that uh, front fence are uh, just kind of peeking out and getting hit early. So great reaction from both of these teams. Tailspin, he does take two shots, so he's in a dangerous spot here. Uh, Strengths and Lux is trying to defend against him. They're both dominant players right here, but uh, he will turn. Oh, isn't able to grab one. So six to four still. They still need that attacking round. Yp is up, and uh, we'll see Strengths in the next, but Yp's definitely been dominant as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. So we'll see what he can do on this attack round. It looks like the Fnatic players have decided to start taking this seriously. No more entrance music, just picking off as many rockets as they can in a row. Yeah, quite a few. I think that was four. Uh, we'll turn to the side, almost getting hit by a rocket as he peeks around the wall there. Uh, but we'll see if he can get the quick turnaround. He actually is able to grab Buds. Buds is chasing him down and then backs off around the corner. Great opportunity. Buds, another shot, and then XP3 on the backside. So really impressive uh, defense there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. Buds with seven defensive rockets, XP3 with four. They both have yep. one attack round apiece. Tailspin, unfortunately, with just two rockets and no uh, attack rounds taken so far. But now we see XP3 back on the attack. He has one successful round uh, in the bag if he does it again. And we're tied up, and we'll move. Uh, we're pretty close to overtime.
Yeah, so that would be insane to go there. XP3 barely missing, 9 centimeters. He's coming around the backside, and uh, we saw this, just the really impressive play uh, hopping back up the last time. The only issue is now he has a guy behind him at the capture point, so uh, he has to watch out. He doesn't have two members to deal with. He has three. Now, we remember how on his laser was last time. He's uh, only taken one shot, missed it so far. It was kind of a risky shot. Misses that one, too, but he has a little bit of position now going for himself. How is he going to utilize it? Picks off EP, but takes a point of armor loss in return. Yeah, great awareness there. Knowing that he jumped down, he had an opportunity to get him as he hops back up. Turns the laser, can't actually pick him off. He does go down. So starting off okay, but uh, he does go down in the end. 7-5 to five for Fnatic, and now it's Strengths. And Strengths has just been absurd so far. Uh, he does, you know, throw off his horn there, so he's going to Macarena all the way to a victory, he's hoping, but uh, we'll see if they can stop him. Two attack rounds taken for him out of two so far, and he is going to grapple hook. Thank you so and we much, haven't seen Strengths. Anyone do that I appreciate yet. it. And let's see if he does it again. He's going to give himself a little bit more momentum, try over the top, and can't find anyone. Yeah, so they do back off. They, I think they did see him go for that hook, so they mm -hmm. recognize, all right, let's just sit back for a second, make him waste his time. Uh, he is trying to peek up, and they are spamming that corner, so watches out. He actually oh, is oh, able to oh, grab oh, one oh. and barely avoid those rockets. I am very impressed with that shot. Uh, there was just the smallest quarter of a second opportunity to be able to lock on a buds and he did it and he picks off xp3 just one more defender and he goes down eight five advantage just a defensive round needed to be taken here for fanatic and they'll advance into winners round three and strengths three for three on attacking rounds has just been uh, unbelievably dominant buds he needs to pick this up now they have four must wins uh, in a row uh, so we'll see if they can do it here or three in a row uh, but it's it's going to be brutal. He is making his way around the right side. Uh, Rocket coming down that alleyway there. He actually is, gets the 50-meter oh, oh, oh. shot, so takes down Lux's. All right, well, that's a good start, but Buds needs two more shots to be able to uh, make this an official round here. And you mentioned it before, they need to take three in a row, so not just Buds needing to step up, but I think it's Tailspin that comes up next in rotation yeah. as well. So uh, two attacking rounds need to be taken. Where is the next defender, though? I don't is he think maybe Buds on the laser pad? He, he peeked for a second, but uh, he hasn't found him. I'll take a look real quick. He's right there. Uh, he is actually right down low underneath him. He just jumped right over him. I think Man. he's going to get the capture. It's so close. And yeah, that's uh, that, that was a really tricky attempt there, but it didn't work out at all. Yeah, so uh, they were trying to maybe sneak up on him as he goes for the capture point, but Buds, with great awareness, just dies on him. He's like, all right, seriously, if you guys are going to sit back and you know try and wait for me to make a mistake, I'm just going to rush the point, and he's able to take it home. Uh, so that's definitely huge. They should be able to win this on the defensive round. Uh, Lux has been strong so far, but more on the defensive side, and you know, most maps tend to play defensive-oriented. So then it's just going to come down to Tailspin if he can win his next attacking round. Uh, but they have to make sure they stop Luxus first. Yeah, that's right. So Luxus can certainly turn it on at the right time, too. He's doing a great job avoiding these rockets, but he is getting pinned in Tailspin with a nice zoning rocket off the left-hand side to actually keep Luxus sitting here. And Buds should be able to chase him down for another shot or two, but he misses them all. Oh, Buds' movement is just phenomenal. He does pick up a shot there, but he's down to one armor, and Buds is still zoning him here, and he, he can't quite pick him off. So uh, we'll see if he does go down. Okay. Okay, well, Buds, oh no, uh, avoiding the shot, Tailspin does shot, uh, put right, a rocket in the air though, but you're absolutely right, Tailspin has to land this attack ground, otherwise Curse falls to the lower bracket. This is the third map point in a row, they've won the last two, Tailspin, if he wins this, it's going to send it into further points, if not, then Fnatic is the winner and they will continue on in this bracket, uh, but we'll see what's going to happen here, Tailspin, it's, it's all on him, let's see the clutch play. And he jumps around the side, but that's a quick reaction from Fnatic. Nothing doing there, and Tailspin not able to land that shot in the open. Oh, and a quick jump over that rocket there is able to avoid it. He's actually waiting for him to come around the corner. Oh, barely missing there. Uh, that was really close, but turning back to the EP, he does have to watch out his back. Uh, there is actually a guy on a laser pad, so he could isolate him and go for that uh, pickoff there. Okay, just 10 seconds remaining, though, and the goal will become capturable. Tailspin uh, in a rough spot, and he actually does go down. That's a 9-7 win for Fnatic. They are going to advance into winner's round three. And Fnatic just looks incredible. Like, their play all around is just so solid, each one of their members. Uh, f strengths, unbelievable. Like, yeah. watching him on those three attacking rounds, he just looks unstoppable. But uh, we'll see what Curse can do in the loser's bracket now. Yep. Um, you know, they're one of those top teams, and they've, they've proven it. They're uh, definitely deserving uh, to be, you know, later on in this tournament. So 